Okay, we're gonna mount the panels on the pole. Uh, this is a three panel solar powered water pumping kit. And our three panel systems come with a wind brace attachment. That's what you see hanging down there to help with additional wind load. Attaching the wind brace. We want our panels facing uh, as about direct south as they can be. They'll need to be moved a couple of times a year as far as the tilt on the panels, tilting them down more to the south in the winter when the sun tracks lower in the southern sky and then laying them a little flatter in the summer as the sun rises higher above. We're gonna go ahead and set these, this is late fall, we're gonna go ahead and set these probably more to a winterly direction. This particular kit, uh, we've included our ALC, which is our electronic water level cutoff that'll shut the pump off when the tank gets full. As the cattle take the water away from the sensor by drinking, it'll turn the pump back on. Once again, this is a three panel kit, what we call our K255. Okay, we're gonna tighten, tighten the remaining bolts on our wind bracket. Uh, we'll need to tighten, we have two set bolts, one on each side to tighten to our pole. And then we'll also tighten a bolt here. We'll tighten a bolt there that controls the tilt angle of the panel. We tighten the clamp to the pole for the wind brace. And it's tightened in place there as well. Okay, we're gonna measure the distance we need for our up pipe to run our pipe over to our tank. electronic water level sensor wire. Each one of those comes equipped with 20 feet of sensing wire. It's imperative to note here that there is nothing else that you need to put into your tank. There is no other attachment when you order an ALC or a Solar Boss with a water level sensor. What you get are these two ends and they do all the sensing. There's nothing else that attaches to them. They hang in your water and when water makes contact with them uh, for eight to 10 seconds, it will shut the power off to your pump. It's all done inside the ALC box. Gonna run our sensor wire and some half inch conduit here to attach the connection here. And on each one of these, there's a little B for black to put your black wire. And then your A will go in the opposing. Okay, this wire we've attached is coming actually directly from the pump. It's the ground wire that we attached to the ground rod we drove. We will also be attaching another piece of copper wire to that ground rod, number 12 copper wire, and we will attach it to the aluminum mounts on the solar panels 
to help with the negative effect of a small lightning strike on the panels or any of your electronics. Okay, we're attaching a copper wire for our ground to our aluminum mount on the panel using the wind brace piece here. If you're using a two panel system without a wind brace you can attach it anywhere on the aluminum mounting structure. We're rolling up our excess water sensor wire and we're going to attach it up under the panel. When you purchase your system from Robinson Solar Systems, they will each come with approximately a foot and a half to two foot lead of wire in place and a wiring harness to tie them all together. And what you'll need to do is you'll need to take your wiring harness and make your connection. In this application we have three panels all in one mounting structure. So we have three connections to make to tie the panels together, which we're making now. And that will tie the panels together and then you can either go direct to your deep well high flow pump or in this application we are using the ALC electronic water level sensor. So we plug it in. It's important to note that a three panel system at this time is the maximum that the ALC electronic water level sensor will work on. It has a maximum input voltage of 75 volts and any more than three panels exceeds our voltage limit. Now we're going to plug the pump into the ALC. Use a few zip ties to tidy up our excess wiring. We have plugged the water sensor in, the pump into the water sensor, connecting it to the power. And we are now producing water. Here we have a completed installation of a Robison Solar Systems deep well slash high flow water pumping system. We are in the middle of a several hundred acre pasture, not a power line in sight. And we're producing water from a well with the electricity produced from those panels running a submergible pump. It is a specific submergible pump, a DC motored, as solar power creates DC. This is a three panel K255G system, producing water from a well in a remote pasture where there's no electricity.